I'm John Gorey at the University of Iowa, and this is the sixth of seven short videos based on a colloquium talk entitled The Flipping Method of Teaching Physics and Other Technical Subjects. When I flip a classroom, I'm seeking an improved teaching outcome, while I also want to minimize the amount of extra time that I spend, and I found that it works great. The most important outcome is that student learning is improved. That happens for me, and I'm quite confident that it will happen for you as well. But in addition to learning more, I also want my students to be happy. Now that can happen, but as you might expect, it depends on exactly what you do. As I'll explain more in a moment, it depends on what you do in class and how much extra time you demand of students. Let's look at my outcomes. I've used flipping in two classes. First, there was my general education class, basic physics. This was my first course where I used flipping, so I only partially flipped it. At the end of the course, students fill out handwritten evaluations of the instructor, and I found that in my case, six students chose to remark on the flipping. Of these six, four said that they liked it. They loved it, they found it interesting, it helped them connect to real life applications or prepare for class. There were also two students who criticized it. One said that the flip videos could be improved a little bit, and the other said that flip videos weren't very helpful. So overall, I look at this and say, I think it was successful. Four liked it, two didn't. Of the two who had criticisms, the criticisms really were not scathing, and I can learn something from them. Now in the electronics class that I taught, which was the second class, was fully flipped. I gave no traditional lectures. Halfway through the course, I polled my students to ask them, do you want me to continue flipping, or do you, would you prefer for me to give a traditional lecture at the blackboard the way that I used to do? The outcome was that in this small class with only nine students, eight asked me to continue with the flip videos, and one expressed no preference. A few students made handwritten comments. One of them said regarding the increased discussion and examples during class that was made possible by flipping, that the student found it to be extremely beneficial. Now, what about student learning? In my fully flipped class, electronics, I gave the same midterm exam as the previous year when I had taught traditionally on using a chalkboard. What was the outcome? Well, my score went up. In fact, it went up quite a lot, from 56% to 76%. Now, there aren't very many students in this class. In fact, in the most recent year, there were only nine students, n equals nine. But nevertheless, the t statistics are supposed to take that into account. The outcome is a p-value of only 0 0.02, and that gives me confidence in concluding that my students truly did perform better on the exam when flipping was used. Now, I think that improved learning is almost certain when you flip a class. That's because a traditional lecture is too long. You don't have to do a great job of making your videos to improve learning when you use flip videos. But what about student satisfaction? My students like the flipping, but I have heard of other cases where students did not. Here's an example that I found in the scholarly literature for nursing. Instructors taught a course twice, first with traditional lectures and then secondly with flipping. In the flipping, the instructors use the class time for things that make good sense for nursing, case studies and simulations of clinical practice. The results were that exam scores were definitely higher, with a p-value of only 0.003. Now that's persuasive. But the instructors also found that students were less satisfied, and this was very powerful with a p-value of less than 0.001. The paper did not elaborate too much on why the students were less satisfied, other than to mention that students perceived that they had to do more work. And so I think that this is a key thing to pay attention to, is that when you place extra demands on the student by asking them to view videos once and maybe even multiple times before class, you're expecting them possibly to be doing more work than they presently are, and you could possibly achieve a reduced student satisfaction on account of that. In the final video in this series, I will present technical details of how to make flip videos, the hardware you'll need, and the software, and how you'll use it. 